it's pink Vaughn, and welcome back to the not so berry challenge so i just started up my game and it looks like jasper is already asking melanie on a date so this is one of those slice of life days she'll just go off into a rabbit hole and do it and a lot of times they don't work so i don't know if this is even gonna work but let's just say let's go get something to eat since she's actually hungry she can just like not eat whatever she was about to eat and I'll have her clean this. As you can see, Smokey has aged up. I went into um, her friend Emma's household just so I could like get Emma and the mailman married, but I guess I already did it before or MZ Command got them married because she was already married to him. I don't know. <laughs> but um, he also had like a romantic relationship with some other married chick. So I just had him ask to just be friends with her. I'm pretty sure that was like before he met Emma, so yeah. Um, and then when I got back in after doing that, Smokey had already aged up, so I kind of missed it, but that's okay. And it looks like one of our nieces are here. We'll invite her in, even though she's about to go head out for this date, hopefully, if it works. So it is Saturday, and what do we have going on? Ooh, so tomorrow's the first family movie night thing we're supposed to do. We still don't have a TV. <laughs> Um, I think we have enough money for one now, so like, let's try to do this. Th we definitely have enough for a TV, but I've been saving up for one of the wall-mounted ones because I hate getting the cheap TVs, they're just meh. <laughs> like, I would much rather just not have a TV and save up. So we could spend like all our money and get one of these. Our freaking power is probably going to be shut off again if we do this, but the good thing is, it's not right away but at least in the next couple parts her and jasper will be getting more serious and so he can move in and start helping with the bills i think i'm gonna get this one because it's like at least okay like better than some of them um but i really don't want to spend all her money again let me check if there's anything in here oh we got this little team photo which i'm gonna sell at least we made some of that money back but yay, we finally have a TV, even though it's kind of a crappy one. Hey, Emma just actually texted her about Jasper, so that's cute. Um, now that Smokey is old enough, she can actually go for jogs with him. Oh, Emma wants to come over. She, I swear, she always wants to come over right when Melanie's gonna be going out. Don't eat, girl, you're supposed to be going on a little lunch date. Put that down. Go over here and just wait. <laughs> I feel like the, um... The rabbit hole dates never work for me. Oh, I think she's supposed to be going now. Let's see. It's supposed to be two hours, so let's see if it actually works. I think if they're like doing something while they're supposed to be heading there, it like cancels out. Oh, it did cancel out. See, it only lasted like 10 minutes or something. Well, did her need at least fill up? A little bit. I guess she didn't like whatever she... Oh no, he took her to a terrible restaurant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, that sucks. I guess the date wasn't really great, but she actually does have work today, so it's whatever. Let me have her maybe take the dog for a jog. Maybe Tyrion can introduce himself to his cousin. I guess he doesn't know all his cousins and stuff, but... We'll have to change that, and this can help his his school because he has to get one of his skills up one more level. I think his uh, social is the one we're working on. Yeah, it's almost there, so that's good. Um, there goes Melanie and Smokey. He looks super excited to go running. Greyhounds love running, so it kind of makes sense. I'm not sure why Madeline is looking so pissed off. <laughs> I feel like whenever sims come over here randomly they're in like a terrible mood they're either pissed or they're super depressed let's try to make her laugh or something we could goof around a little she's actually furious i don't think kids can die from the emotional deaths but just in case let's really try to get her out of that we'll do about dogs oh no we're being yelled at i think she might have the mean trait but he did reach level four social which is good Oh my god, uh, you hate dogs. You know what? You're my least favorite cousin. No, we're not apologizing. She should apologize. You need to leave. <laughs> Screw you, Madeline. I don't care if you're um, Grayson's kid. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like, who hates dogs? Oh my god. All right, so 
has he done all yeah he did his um extra credit and everything so he should be good to get a promotion well really just an a in school um we have to make a bff and work on his social skill so what i'm gonna do is once melanie gets back from this jog which let me take a picture of her first jog with Smokey. oh look at him look at how he's looking at her that's so cute I'm gonna let her do that, but I think I'm gonna have- oh, Tyrion's in the bath. I'm gonna have him go out again today and meet with his little friends because we need to work on his aspiration. I think he ages up- oh, not- not soon at all, actually, so we're good. Um, but yeah, if I could finish multiple aspirations for one sim, it would be fun to do that. <laughs> Even though he's not the heir or anything, so I guess it's not like super necessary. Um, I like how he's playing with Chompy the monster. Oh. Alright, Melanie. She is running home because she is about to be late for work. <laughs> Alright, why don't you just... I think Smokey can get home on his own. There's Madeline just stomping by. <laughs> Go to work, girl. All right, she's just off to work in her weird outfit. Smokey's like, you're just gonna abandon me. But um, I'm gonna have her work hard. Let's have Tyrion just call Smokey into the house so she's not just out here wandering around. And I'm gonna have him head out with some of his little friends. See, she always comes over when Melanie goes out. It's, a, it's like she really is a nanny for him. <laughs> I also gave her twins some makeovers. They are super cute. They came out blonde just like her husband. And maybe we can meet them at some point, but they are just little toddlers right now. Their names are Sierra and Reed, a boy and a girl. Um, okay, so I think Smokey made his way home, so we are going to head out. Maybe we'll take Smokey with us. Maybe we can bring a ball and he can, because he always, oh my god, see, he always wants to like play with a dog and he always wants to like play fetch and stuff, play with the doctor, play set. Ooh, we should have him do that too. But I am going to grab one of these balls and head out. For some reason, he doesn't have all that many options to invite. This might have been one of the kids. He, I think this is one of the kids he met last time or a couple episodes ago, but she aged up. So we're obviously not bringing her. But there is this girl, Ariel Rosa. She's pretty cute. And yeah, this is definitely one of the kids. So he met some people that were older than him. We could also bring this girl, Julia Branch with pink hair. Why not? Um, and not his mean cousin, because I'm just like, she really just got mad about him talking about dogs. Um, we're heading to the dog park. Did I even click on Smokey? I don't know if I did. <laughs> it's raining. Ugh. Well, we're gonna cheat that, because why not? We're gonna say it's spring. Okay, we'll do sunny, <laughs> just because it makes the lighting look better. So let's have them come into this little park together and Smokey you're not part of our group oh you're just laying down in the rain well first things first I want to get him closer with these guys so let's just start chatting with them I kind of like this girl Ariel Rosa who are her parents I just want to make sure they're not related to us in any way okay good they're not <laughs> even when they're kids I'm already planning out who they're gonna end up dating in the future and then this pink haired girl she's actually cute too but I'm obviously gonna have to change the hair. <laughs> um, let's quote a cartoon character. So for this, he just needs to raise his skill one more level and make a BFF. Hey look, it's Uncle Grayson. You need to control your daughter Madeline because she is a brat. She yelled at us. Um, okay, Ariel, why are you sad? Everyone's always sad or mad. <laughs> let's talk about our favorite animal. Dogs, obviously, sir back off let's make fun of adults with this guy here oh no he's sad <laughs> i feel kind of bad no now and um i've been noticing in a lot of my older saves like this one but especially my 100 baby challenge which is like a super super long like multi-generational type um save file the townies just get jankier and jankier especially with all the cc i have a lot of it gets tagged for random townies to get which sucks because they all end up looking like this so i don't know in the next generation i might start a new save file like i'll save all my sims that are like related oh his mom is calling and for some reason her ombre is not in her hair hey honey it's mom when are you going to come visit <laughs> 
come visit mom we live with you um i'll visit you tomorrow why don't you go i can't but <laughs> i'll visit you tomorrow <laughs> like what i've never gotten that call for someone in my household but anyways yeah i might start you know how some simmers make a save file like there's um the simlessy save file there's the little simsy one i don't know those are the only ones i've heard of i'm sure there's a ton more so i'll be looking into them if you have any suggestions for which one i should use let me know but um yeah i kind of want to download one of those or a couple of them maybe like maybe a maybe two different ones for one for this and one for eevee legacy and i'll just like save all of the sims to my gallery that are related to us and then um so that we don't lose anybody and i will start playing in that file so we have like cuter townies to look at and more options for people um to be our spouses and stuff you know what i mean because it was a struggle to find a neat sim for melanie and then we found jasper but he did need some work <laughs> to be like even human looking because he had the baby shoulder syndrome going on we'll let julia branch go play over there i guess and mail and maybe we can make um ariel our bff just because we are closer to her anyway he didn't meet like any guys i don't think let's enthuse her about dogs if she gets mad just like um his cousin did oh look at smokey he's like when are we gonna play ball but if she gets mad just like um madeline did then she's definitely not BFF material. And we're gonna discuss her uncomfortable mood. I guess she's only uncomfortable. Um, by the way, I've mentioned the mod that's coming out soon where you can, oh, we can hug her. Where you can like right click on people in this conversation panel and then they'll be out of the conversation. It becomes public in two more weeks at the time I'm recording this, which is April, April 6th. So two more weeks to wait for that. I'm very freaking excited. That mod is going to be just, it's so simple, but so necessary, you know? Smokey's like, play with me, play with me. <laughs> I know, Smokey, I'm just trying to get a BFF. I don't think we'll be able to do it in this one um, outing, but let's ask her how she is. And then after that, I'm gonna play ball with Smokey because I feel bad. He's been waiting so patiently, so nicely. I think now that he's older, we can actually do the play interaction, which he's wanted to do for a while. Oh, yay! He reached level 6 social. Oh, because he's active, we do roughhouse instead of play. How am I doing response? My job is getting the best of me. Your job? <laughs> you have a job? Can we call child services because you are way too young to be working? Child labor? Like, what? No wonder why she's uncomfortable. Oh my god, look at these guys! Oh, look at Smokey! <laughs> he's so good. He was so patient. And he's just like super excited to actually be playing with his little brother. I don't know what to call him. I guess technically Tyrion's like the owner. <laughs> I guess it's just his BFF. Why can't the dog be his BFF for this um <laughs> this thing? Let's get to know him. Um feel the love with him. And then maybe we can try to play fetch with this. I don't know if that interaction I just clicked on um, is gonna train him how to do fetch or what, because we obviously haven't trained him. He just aged up. Oh, how adorable. And he got the pet training skill. Too bad you can't be a freelance like dog trainer or like just pet trainer, because he would totally do that, I think. He'll be like the next Caesar Milan dog whisperer. Oh my God. Go, Smokey. <laughs> Smokey's like, huh? <laughs> oh my god. What a derp. Tyrion, you're such a good dog trainer. I wonder if the um the dog lover's pet training skill goes up faster. Probably does. Well, he's gonna fetch the ball instead. <laughs> Let's try this again. Come on, Smokey, you can do it. I also gave him this collar, by the way. Go get it! Go get it! Yay! <laughs> he kind of got the idea now, but now he's confused still. He's like, am I supposed to pick it up or what? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Same Tyrion. 
Oh, his responsibility goes up as he does this. That's kind of cute. How are Smokey's needs, by the way? Smokey's looking a little... Oh, he's mopey. Why are you mopey? Because you're not getting it. Maybe he, he's feeling discouraged because he doesn't get how to fetch. You can do it, dude. Go. Nope. <laughs> I don't know if he's learning the... I don't think he's learning the skill, though. Let me put this back in the... Our train to fetch with Smokey. Yeah, because right now we're playing fetch. I don't know if that counts as training. You know? Which you think it would, like, if you're playing fetch. How is that not training him how to play fetch? I don't know. Um, why are we going over here? Um, my sims have been so weird lately. <laughs> they walk to, like, the most random places to do interactions that just it doesn't make any sense it's 8 p.m the sun's still out because i said the weather is sunny and i don't even know where his friends are now i kind of forgot about them to be honest because this whole cute little thing with smoky oh it's so cute um so actually where are they and maybe you could meet some more people because he barely knows anyone here's somebody he could meet i'm gonna have him just stop that hopefully he gets his, his little ball we're gonna come say hello to Lakeisha Aikida. That's our friend we already have. Here's another pink haired girl. Judy Lamb, a fan? A fan of who? Let's say hello to her too. I never see little boys out. I only see girls. He has like all female friends. Wait, who's over here? All adults. Anybody else? Smokey's just like sitting here confused. Like, I don't even know what just happened. Well, at least he retrieved the ball like one. Well, he didn't really even retrieve it once. <laughs> he ran to it at least. Do I have the... Okay, good. I got it back in my inventory. All right, when we met these people, I'm going to let him go home because his mom is like coming home pretty much right now. Good job, Mel. She made 600 bucks. I definitely cannot wait for Jasper to move in and help with this money though. Um, I think she'll get promoted in her, le her next work day though. Sorry for the cars. Oh my God. We're home, and Smokey's drinking out of the freaking toilet. <laughs> um, lecture about barking, and then hopefully we can lecture about drinking from the toilet. He is such a good little dog owner, isn't he? I feel like he's so responsible. <laughs> ah, Smokey, it's okay. Smokey's learning fast. Did I make him smart or something? I feel like he's learning everything super fast. No, I didn't even make him smart, huh? Oh, Mel's home. I forgot she was even home. Change out of this horrifying outfit. I really don't get this outfit. Like, how is this an athletic outfit? Let's calm down Smokey, because he's still feeling... Oh, he's angry. Maybe because we told him to stop barking. <laughs> he's thinking about bunnies. Aww. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction. That is adorable. Aww. These guys are so cute. They just autonomously hug each other and stuff all the time. Hey, you actually visit us like you said you would. Oh, you're such a good kid. We love you. Who's we? And <laughs> um, he lives here, Melanie. I think you're a little confused. Melanie is just going to do her daily work task of studying the opponents. And I'm going to send Tyrion to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning when they're done with that. Unless anything else happens. Oh, you know what? Before he goes to bed, we'll have him play doctor because he wanted to do this. And I found that if you want to make a sim age up with the, um, what is it? The high empathy trait, compassionate. This is the best way to do it because when they become a teen, it's... A little bit harder to increase their empathy because you have to do like kind of weird more convoluted things you know you have to I mean you can volunteer I guess that's not that hard but it takes time and then you also have to help others with negative moods I just feel like this brings it up the most so if I don't get their empathy pretty high when they're a child they're probably not gonna end up getting compassionate so I would like him to get compassionate. I feel like he is such a sweet kid. I also feel like he would be a vet, but too bad we can't have him actually be a vet because we'd have to control him for that. Why are there two bears now? Um, she just decided, oh no, she didn't decide to, it's just this broke. So I did say I wanted to stop just having Sims repair things if 
if um, it doesn't make sense for them to be able to repair a computer. <laughs> like if she's not someone who's into handiness, I don't want to just like make her repair things. So I'm going to hire this dude at midnight. Shout out to that 24 hour maintenance service, I guess. Like that's pretty awesome. We're going to come clean this food out and hopefully this dude comes and fixes this pretty fast so she can finish her work task. Oh no! <laughs> the repair guy stepped in crap and then he teleported over to the computer. See, my game's just being so odd like that. I don't... I swear every time there's a new update I get these weird glitches. Awesome. Are we allowed to tip these guys? Because he came out at midnight. I want to give... Um, I guess we can't. Well that sucks. You can get out now so... I need to use my computer. <laughs> Oh hey, Amara just became a full-on adult. I also gave her like a new everyday outfit. I also gave, uh, what's her face? Grayson's new wife. Oh my god, that's so bad, I forgot. <laughs> uh, oh, Bailey, I gave her a new outfit too. All right, she's done. And she got the whim to volunteer with her family. I think I'll probably do that um, in the morning. And then I wanna have her go on a date with Jasper just because the other one didn't end up working and she ended up hating the food. <laughs> Ooh, summer started and it's family movie night. It's our first family movie night. Yes. So we need a popcorn machine and we also need to order some pizza for that. I think I'll have her actually go on a breakfast date before doing the volunteer with family thing just because she's hungry. So let me see if I can ask Jasper on a date real quick. Aw, how cute would it be if they went to this little pirate ship restaurant that her mom and dad went to? Was it her mom and dad? Yeah, I think so. Let's go there, even though they probably don't have breakfast food. It looks like um, it's actually hot out and he's in his little hot weather outfit. Oh, and he's thinking about woohoo. Oh my god, that was so funny in the last episode <laughs> at the very end where he tr he tried to like ask her to woohoo, but my game wouldn't let him. Um, there were no woohoo spots. He autonomously did that. I'm not sure which one of my mods is making that happen, but <laughs> I do not have Wicked Whims in either of my LPs. I only have that in um in my 100 Baby Challenge. Let's do this outfit. And he is definitely in a flirty mood. Oh, this is the table the parents sat at. We're gonna take the same one. <laughs> do they have like tables up here? I don't remember. No, but this is- oh, they do, actually. This is where, um, I did a cute little photo shoot with her parents. Aww. This is a really freaking cool restaurant, by the way. Whoever built this, obviously not me. I was also thinking I need to give Jasper some tattoos because I definitely feel like he would have tattoos. I just kind of forgot when I was giving him a makeover. Ew. Ew! This is the abusive, crazy ex-husband of our best friend saying, Hey Melanie, I have a confession. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you in a romantic way. I was wondering if you felt the same way about me. Definitely not, and we would not say sorry either. <laughs> we would not let him down, like, lightly. Alright, they only have water. I think I need to edit the menu here. <laughs> That's the only option, but I mean, it's breakfast time, so it's not like they need to have alcohol in the morning. At least... Some of this stuff seems breakfast appropriate, like banana bread, but I think she wants more of a, a hearty meal than just like bread. Um, most of these are not that breakfasty. I have some custom food. I think that's custom. I kind of feel like I do have to just get her bread though, because <laughs> none of the other ones sound that appetizing as a breakfast. She'll get banana bread. He'll get carrot bread. All right, sure. This is not going to fill them up either, so maybe they can hang out a little after this. Okay, I wonder how his mood is, because I'm pretty sure he's over the death of his wife now. Like, in-game, anyway. So he shouldn't be moping around anymore. Don't get up. Why are you always getting up? Stop seeing what's happening. We don't care what's happening. This is what's happening. This date is what's happening. Okay, um, let's blow him a kiss. I don't know if we know all his traits. I'm pretty sure we do. Admit to having- she doesn't have little experience, this is like her fourth relationship. Let's confess attraction, which is pretty obvious. <laughs> um, I wish there were more festivals. 
as like multiple festivals are popping up but really like i'm just kind of sick of the same ones over and over like i never ever use the flea market and like i like the spice festival and the romance festival i just wish there were more and i like geekcon though it's kind of it comes at a really random time i feel like when most sims are at work um okay we're not gonna say i love you yet because they're still not even boyfriend and girlfriend so we're gonna do a pickup line i'm just trying to raise this up a bit and i said before that i wanted to kind of take it a little slow with them just because it's not realistic for someone's wife to die and then like they move on super super fast so i mean obviously it's been time it's kind of hard to measure time in the sims but it's been a little bit of time but i would say let's say oh, we can share deeply personal thoughts let's say it's been like a year at this point since his wife has died maybe maybe a year so they're not even official yet but i think i want to make them official in the next part discuss romantic compatibility these are all modded interactions obviously okay so actually some of our little relatives are aging up yay i'll have to give them makeovers let's discuss our future together because obviously she wants to be official with him soon let me take a cute little picture of them no i'll wait till their food gets here which is that ever gonna happen who knows i might have to move this menu i don't know i've been having issues with the restaurants lately oh we have to have deep conversations with them for the for the date so why don't we do that Yay, our food is finally here. We'll get to know him. Just in case we don't know all those traits. Look at them, they're so cute. Looks like he is really into his carrot bread. <laughs> it's just cute because it's the same exact restaurant her parents had a little date at. I don't remember. If you do remember or you've seen those episodes recently, um, obviously I recorded this a long time ago. Was this like where they had their honeymoon? I think it was. Like, um, her parents, I think they honeymooned here. All right, so we'll do one more deep conversation, even though we don't have to because we're already a gold date. <laughs> Their friendship level is almost all the way up, which is really sweet. And I think that makes a lot of sense because since they are kind of taking it slow, oh, she can serenade him. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> If someone just started publicly singing for you i don't know yeah since they are taking it kind of slow i think it does make sense well that they would <laughs> um increase their friendship a lot more quickly than the romance obviously the romance is there but like yeah i just i just like that they became like super super good friends first his resting face is very <laughs> grumpy looking isn't it are she serenading him doesn't look like she's serenading him. She reached romance level three. Oh, and she has work. Ah, I want to volunteer with Tyrion. We have to hurry up. So like, this is glitching out because she's apparently singing right now, but she's definitely not singing. So, <laughs> okay. She also did not eat her food. Why are you not eating, dude? Finally, she started singing. Oh my god, how awkward would that be? You're like in the middle of a restaurant and somebody just starts singing at the table for you. I could not handle it. I would die of embarrassment. <laughs> Let's just stop. <laughs> I'm embarrassed since even just in The Sims. Like I can't. Ooh, I think I just got an Amazon package. All right, this is taking forever. Like just eat your food. And if he's not gonna eat his, I'm probably gonna have her eat it because this is not gonna fill her up anyway. I thought they updated the game so it doesn't take forever to eat. They definitely did, but it doesn't seem to be applying here at this restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna steal his bread. <laughs> He's like, huh? Well, all he did was, oh no, ah! All right, she needs to go to work. I'm sorry, dude. We're gonna end this date now. And she's gonna head to work. <laughs> Put the carrot bread down, Melanie. Um, and I'm gonna obviously be switched into Tyrion's thing so I'm just gonna end the part here because it's probably a little long anyway so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe I hope you have an amazing day and I hope I'll see you next time bye